Well, hey, church family, my name is Micah Roddy, and I'm the student pastor here at First Corpus. This past Sunday night, our teenagers, we had our uh, one Christmas night. Now, we do one nights throughout the year, but one Christmas night is easily my favorite of all the one night events. And each one is the same, where uh, they're all centered around giving our teenagers an opportunity to have some of these kingdom building moments. See, the whole purpose of one night is for students to invite one lost or unchurched friend to hear one gospel presentation. And with one Christmas night being my favorite of all of them, I'm usually working on one night all the way until students arrive and sometimes even after they arrive. Just, I just want everything to be perfect. And this past Sunday was no different. Uh, and at the end of every one night, I always drive home and in my mind, I'm kind of replaying the event. And usually what I do is I think about what could have been done better or really what I did wrong. And this past Sunday night, again, was no different. So as I was driving home thinking about all these things, I finally pulled into my driveway feeling pretty defeated, thinking about everything that I could have done and should have done that didn't get done. And as I was going to bed, I looked at my phone one final time, and I found an email from a young man who visited our church for the very first time at one Christmas night. And in the email, he said how much he, had a, how much he enjoyed his time with our youth group and how much fun he had. But really, the highlight of his night wasn't from the great big prizes we were giving away or the games that we played. The highlight was at the very end with the conversation that he and I had. Now, I remembered the conversation, but I didn't think very much of it at the time. In fact, because I'm always thinking about what I could have done better, I thought, well, I probably should have given it more energy. See, church, often what we do in these busy and stressful times is we tend to try to make everything big. But the reality is we don't need a big event to make a big kingdom impact. We can even make a huge impact with something small, like a conversation. So this week, I want to challenge you to be on the lookout for these small events, for these small moments where you can make a big impact.